Good morning, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. I certainly am. I wanted to um, kind of give you guys like an update on what's happening with um, keto and just like healing in the body, etc. So basically recently I went to, um, I haven't been feeling like as good lately. Um, and you're supposed to, like humans are supposed to go use the bathroom every time you eat. That is what is supposed to happen. Sorry, too much information, but that's what you do. Um, so that is not happening and to kind of explain the reason why I'm telling you this is because if this is happening to you, um, then that means that you're not absorbing all of the nutrients and your body is not able to completely break down all of the fat that you're bringing in. Uh, and if this was happening to you on a carb diet, then your body isn't utilizing um, the nutrients in the same way. So basically, I went and had my blood looked at um, to see kind of what was going on because you can um, kind of figure out a lot when looking at your own blood. <laughs> so um, I found out a lot of information about uh, things that I have that I need to address before I continue keto and um, it's just really important for my body to work properly you know you want your kidneys your gallbladder your um, liver your your stomach your intestines everything working properly everything um, doing its job so that nothing is backed up um, nothing is uh, not things are being filtered properly you're not junked up etc so anyway my point is is that I have to kind of backtrack a little bit um, I need to stop doing the keto uh, approach and I'm going to be incorporating a lot more veggies into my diet lots of fibrous veggies uh, to kind of um, get things moving a little bit more because right now things are too slow um, I have I still have a small case of leaky gut and that is not a good thing a lot of people have it 80% of people have this problem um, it's just different it's just different severities so um, I could continue doing what I'm doing and even you know before I started keto I could have continued just eating the way I was eating and it wasn't that I was eating bad I was eating healthy food my body just couldn't digest it and I could have just chopped it up too as oh I'm just bloated like oh I just won't eat that anymore you know I could have just totally ignored it but um because it wasn't like a huge it wasn't that bad but if I wasn't so in tune with my body and even more now it would have gotten a lot worse later on in life um, and I deal with people every day on a day-to-day -day basis that have these problems and so probably nine out of ten people I talk to on the phone <laughs> have a kidney liver gallbladder um, stomach problem candida leaky gut something there's something so basically I need to kind of step back and I need to speed up my digestive system a little bit more to get some um, fiber going through it's kind of like a toothbrush for your teeth so fiber is like that for your intestines so I'm gonna kind of speed things up a little bit more I'm gonna eat totally whole foods um, I'm gonna incorporate brown rice like buckwheat quinoa all organic stuff um, lots and lots of fibrous veggies um, I'm gonna try to eat them raw and chew as much as I can because when you start when you put the food in your mouth and you start chewing then um, digestive enzymes in your mouth automatically start helping with the digestive process 
So it's not just you drink your veggies and that's good enough. Like, I guess you could, whatever, do what you want to do, but um, try to chew as much as you can because that's signaling uh, your brain and your stomach to start digesting and then also the enzymes start in your mouth. So basically, I do blend my veggies, not all of them though. Like, I do like half and half because I'm blending the whole entire broccoli head. The whole entire, well I'm going to, I'm, the whole entire broccoli head, all of the spinach, like bok choy, like anything I'm eating now I'm gonna blend. So, and just chug it. So um, I will be switching out my fats for carbs slowly. So I'll, you know, I'll probably incorporate 25 grams of carbs, subtracting 25 fat like a week just to kind of get it going. We'll see, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but um, depending on the person, just be careful. If you uh, have a super fast metabolism and you adapt quickly, then I guess you could just go straight into eating a bunch of carbs and cut your fat down. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what to do because everybody's different. For me, I'm gonna probably wean off of my fats down to about 50 fats uh, a day and to about a 200 carbs a day um and then my protein is going to go up too my protein will is going to have to go up because i want to make sure that i'm keeping my muscle because i'm going to be a carb burner so anyway um <clears throat> you know i don't know when i'm going to be able i don't know when i'm going to be healed i don't know when things are going to be working properly and um, it could take a year. I don't know. So, uh, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I know a lot of you guys are following me cause I am doing keto and I'm really sorry, but I have to do what's best for my body. But I hope that, um, if you know someone or if you are having problems with keto, um, maybe your energy level is just not there. If you're having like achy joints and stuff like that, um, you know, maybe, and you've been doing it for more than like three months and you're still having problems, I would think twice about doing, continuing it, maybe retract a little bit and um, figure out what underlying issues metabolically you might be having, fix those first and then you can go back to keto. Uh, if you're doing it for healing purposes um, or just losing a whole bunch of weight or just because. <laughs> So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to show you guys the uh, my blood video right now.